Western region. Uh, now, there aren't many people who are comfortable wearing a knitted swimming costume. I'm not one of them. But my next is at her happiest when adorned in vintage clothing from the interwar years. But her love of all things of the 1920s and 30s doesn't stop there. Janista Davidson from Swatham lives and breathes Art Deco and has now turned her passion uh, into a new book. You can hear her laughing in the background. Art Deco Traveller, A Guide to Britain. That's right. That's right. Yes. Uh, uh, is that hat Art Deco? It is. Yes. Original 1930s. Goodness yes. me. You'll just describe um, it. Just describe it for um, us. Well, it's a felt hat. It's it's black and a cream. And yes, it's it's got a beautiful little kiss curl. It has. Here. I thought it was and, your uh, hair. No, that's a little <laughs> kiss curl. And uh, say the, the knitted dress is original pattern. But I must admit, this dress doesn't come from the 30s. Um, but it is original pattern from the 30s. Shoes original. Um, yeah, I try to. I sort of dress like this every day. Come on, where does this fascination come from? Are you a bit mad? Um, mm, well. <laughs> Let's just say, no, no. <laughs> Who's um, that nodding out there, that um, gentleman out there? Yes, that, that's Jeeves or Passepartout or, or, you know, my, my beautiful better three quarters out there. <laughs> um, it sort of, it comes from childhood, really. When I was a child, I've always been passionate about dressing up, about costume jewellery. As I grew up, I had this huge passion for architecture and anything Art Deco. It's always been there. And for 20 years, I've been going along to the library looking for a book that actually, whenever I go away for business or pleasure, shows me the Art Deco places. So the restaurants, the hotels, the theatres, the Lido's or Lido's, however you want to pronounce that word. Let's call the whole thing off. (laughs) (laughs) And the book isn't there. So sort of two years ago, I thought, well, why don't I write the book? Why Great don't idea, I do yeah. it? Um, I've always been a writer, um, but that's sort of been my sideline. I, I write and sort of I'm a bit of a journalist and a diarist. I've got about 20 journals at home where I write all the places I've been to. And this is a culmination of, of 20 years and two years research. It's wow. one of a series of books. I've actually written six others. Six, oh, others? six others? For goodness yes. sake, you must be exhausted. Um, Rather, rather. But um, they sort of come out next April, the first one next April. Right. And that's um, Art Deco USA, New Zealand. So this Australia. one this one is out now, the Art Deco Traveller. This Traveler. one is out now. You can buy it now. Um, you can buy it in Norwich in Gerald's. You can get it from Beehive on London Street or Deco Days, 37 St. Giles. This is a major plug for your book. It is a major plug. It is a major plug. And a great Christmas Um, present. A great Christmas present. But look, Art Deco is, is, you know... uh, Everyone knows what Art Deco yes. looks like, don't they? Yes. You see it. You may not necessarily be able to describe it. When you no. see it, you go, ah, that's you do. Art Deco. You're instantly, instantly attracted to it. Um, it's such an important part of our heritage that over the years I've seen so much lost. And I just feel as if now if we could all embrace what Art Deco gives us, it's a bit of escapism. It's fun. It's it's there for us all. It transcends Well, I know I had a everything. joke with you, but you do look yeah. quite cool. Do I really? You do, actually, yeah. You're, you're rocking that hat. <laughs> So Thank that, you. So Thank that, you. If you think that hat is, is what, 80 years old? 80 years old. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. So yes. obviously anything made in that time in Art Deco was, was built was, to last, it made was to last. built to last. Yeah. It was quality. It really was, whether it be furniture, whether it be clothing, shoes, a compact um, makeup, oh, whatever. Um, as I say, it really was. It's a beautiful era um, with fashion and design and architecture. And uh, I just... You know, it's pure glam, glitz, it, escapism. Yeah, it is, it is. And it's yes. a, it was a great time in Britain, wasn't it? it? It was. I mean, obviously, there was the troublesome times as well, uh, the depression and, you know, um, rosy coloured spectacles. That's a bit of a saying of mine. So I don't always wear them. But this was escapism. This was a great uh, sort of change we saw in history. There'd never been a movement like this before. Absolutely. Ever. Totally different. Totally different. Janista, it's great to talk to you this morning. Thank you for Thank coming you. in. And Art Deco Traveller, A Guide to Britain, yes. is out now. It's out now. Yes, uh, I is. wish people could see your hat. I think we should take a picture of you <laughs> and we'll stick that on our Twitter page this morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. And it's for goodness sake, pleasure. stop writing books. You've written so many already. <laughs> great to see you this morning. Thank, Thank you. you very much for writing our morning. Thank you. Bye-bye. BBC Radio Norfolk.